Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Are you ready to get mobile, get moving, loosen the bodies out? Ready. Okay. Ready, let's do this. We're going to start with three stretches, okay? okay? The first one actually is a bit of mobility. So we're down on Ooh. our high plank position, okay? So on your hands, up onto your toes. And we're going to do really slow mountain climbers. So you're going to try and get your knee up to your elbow in a really controlled way, okay? This could be a cardio workout as well. But what we're trying to do here is warm up the chest and the shoulders and also get the hips mobile, okay? We'll do two more each side. Well done, nice and slow. Perfect, and you can stand tall. Now we're gonna loosen out the backs of our legs, okay? So we're just gonna do a very simple hamstring stretch. So feet just wider than your hips. And all I want you to do is roll down, touch your toes and roll back up again. It's okay to let your back round in this position, okay? There's no load, there's, you're not carrying any weights, so it's really okay to just let your back flex and roll. Don't be afraid of it. And you'll feel just the stretch the whole way down the backs of your legs. Well done, we're gonna do two more. Well done, deep breath in on the way down and then out on that roll up, breathe out. Perfect. And the last stretch, we're gonna stretch out our chest. Okay. okay, so we're gonna put one palm onto the wall. You're gonna start, um, I suppose, parallel, and then you're trying to rotate out, and you're gonna feel that stretch all across your chest and the front of your shoulder. Ooh, a lovely stretch if you're sitting down all day at a computer or if you're driving all day. Lovely to open up that chest and switch sides. Lovely. Again, an easy stretch to do at home or if you're at the gym, up against the wall, grab a rig, really easy to do. Perfect. We're going to switch sides again. So just stretching out the chest. Maybe go for a little bit more rotation. Lovely. And last time back around. Now, if you're in the gym, it's a lovely time to jump on a cross trainer, a bike, a couple of minutes, get the heart rate going. If you're at home, you can go out for a walk or a run just to warm up for that session. Well done, guys. Okay, we are going to do a superset. Yeah, okay, so we're going to do chest and a bit of back. Okay. okay, chest and shoulders and some back. So we're going to start with a push press. Okay. okay, we have a barbell set up. We're going to do eight reps. Eight reps. So whenever we tell you superset, you probably know it means two exercises. But I was saying just in case. <laughs> just in case you think we're just going to do this. Um, we'll do this first. Okay, so we're going to walk into the bar, lifting off, elbows nice and high. Okay, we're going to do eight reps. Dermot is just going to slightly break her knee and press the barbell overhead. Placing back down to our shoulders, deep breath in, dip and drive overhead again. As I said, we're going to do eight reps. The important thing is that you're getting full extension over your head, your bicep is covering your ear, and you're not pressing out to the front. Well done, breathing in on the way back to your chest, and then out on the press. <coughs> so that was shoulders. Now we're going to work on some back in the superset. I have a band attached to the rig. We're going to grab the band. Okay, hands facing down, elbows up nice and high, and you're pulling that back towards your face. Well done. So this is really good for that upper back, backs of your shoulders. Lovely if you're sitting down all day or if you're driving all day and you just need a bit of relief. Okay, we're going to do 10 of these. try and get two more sets done. Okay, brilliant. Let's uh, get ready for set two. Yes. Okay, we are about to start another big part of this gym session. Kate, what have you got for us? Okay, so we've got a tricep today. Okay. So a tricep's a really lovely way of getting three movements in if you're short on time and if you want to increase the intensity of your workout. So we're gonna do three exercises back to back. Okay. Okay, the first one, we're gonna work some chest and shoulders. 
we're up at a high incline press. Okay. Okay, so the bench is about 45 degrees. It's not flat, it's not completely straight, just 45. a nice okay. 45 degree angle. Um, so we're using kind of moderate dumbbells for this okay. one. The first set always just suss out the weight. Okay, these are fives, so we're just gonna build up slowly, okay? But that depends on what you want to do yourself. Okay. Okay. So this is the first exercise. You're gonna grab the dumbbells. We're lying on our backs, okay? Feet flat to the floor, and we're just pressing the dumbbells straight up towards the ceiling, okay? We're gonna do eight reps here with this. So breathing in on the way down, and you're breathing out on that press over your chest. So again, this is a lovely one for higher chest and shoulders. Lovely. Now we're supersetting that with a prone row. So okay. angle, same bench. With the same angle, chest down onto the bench. Let the dumbbells hang and you're just pulling straight back. So here now we're targeting mid and upper back. Making sure we have full connection to the bench with our body, with our tummy, our legs and we're up onto our tippy toes. And again, here we're going to do eight reps. So we're done. So breathe in on that big pull. Perfect. And now the last movement, we're gonna include some core into this, okay? So I'm gonna move this bench forward out of our way, and you are going to get into a high plank position, okay? So we'll these are, oh no, this way. perfect, these are plank ups, okay? So we're in our high plank position, and now we're going to rest down onto our elbows, lower down onto our elbows, and you're pushing straight up into that plank position again, okay? So we're going to do six each side. The, it's hard to think about pushing off each hand in a go because your instinct is to push off your stronger side but make sure that you're pushing off your alternate hands and getting up into that plank position again really good lovely core exercise and great for your shoulders as well okay. ten. 10 two more and last one excellent Ooh. So that was our first set. We're gonna rest now for between 60 and 90 seconds, and we're gonna get into our second set and try and do three sets in total. Ooh, that one's a burner, but it's really good. 